going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I go by Casper. If this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. Appreciate you for stopping in. If you're not familiar with me or my channel, I cover a wide range of sneaker related topics, whether it be sneaker updates, sneaker news, sneak reviews, and even yes, sometimes, well, I guess most of the time, early reviews, which I do have for y'all today if you have not seen the title yet. And I'm going to go ahead and say this shoe will be interesting because of it's basically a retro but not a retro but we're going to talk about it and i'm going to get y'all's thoughts of course let me know what y'all think but as always like the video subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell y'all already know the deal on the road to 500 subscribers i think we're, i'm a little over 400 so all of y'all that have been showing love showing support i appreciate y'all if you're just stopping in and check out the review and just get an idea of the shoe Appreciate you too as well. So, like I said, let's go ahead and jump into this early review. All right, so like I said, this shoe is gonna be very interesting amongst the sneakerhead community. Hot topic for sure. So today for y'all, I have the Jordan 12 Royalty. Now why I say that it's gonna be a hot topic in the sneaker community is because these are super, super, super similar to the Jordan 12 taxis and you could almost make the argument that outside of a couple changes this is the exact same shoe and I know people have been waiting for the taxi 12s to come back out and I'd be very curious if this is what Nike is going to give us or if they're eventually going to give us the taxi 12s and um, I'm thinking that this is going to be our current version of the taxi 12 which we know Nike likes to play with us and just give us different things so but these are cool too so let's go ahead and jump into the review oh before I forget perfect fit kicks and kamikaze kicks on Instagram if you need early pairs hit them up they help me secure this pair then they can help you secure yours check them out on Instagram so to start I do have the regular Jordan 12 box you do see that black Jordan Jumpman in the center of the box right there and then just going around, like I said, the normal Jordan Jumpman or Jordan 12 box. All right. Now the label reads Air Jordan 12 Retro. The colorway is white, metallic gold, and black. This is a size 11. And retail price on these is 190. Release date for these is, as of right now, November 13th, which is a Saturday. Now here is the label. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the box. Nothing on the lid, just regular old lid. And then you do have the regular paper with these also. All right, let's jump into the shoes now and get them out the box. Cause this is gonna be an interesting one. I already feel like it's gonna be interesting. All right, let me get this out of the way. All right, so. This is the Jordan 12 Royalty. Of course, give you all that quick 360. All right, so let's jump into this review. So, y'all already know I'm gonna start on the outsole. So this is the outsole of the shoe. I'm gonna try my best to point out the differences between these and the taxis that came out, I believe last in 2013. I, I did not own a pair of taxis in 2013. I was like barely into shoes at the time. I was still in high school, so didn't have the funds to really buy shoes like that. But I did do a little research, so hopefully I'm able to point it out, point out the differences. If I miss something, let me know in the comments. Y'all always know we're all learning here, so let me know if you if you point out if you see something that I miss, just let us know in the comments. But this is the outsole. Now the biggest thing missing from this shoe is the hints of yellow and red that were on the Taxi 12s. So on here you have that gray carbon fiber plate in the middle whereas on the Taxi 12s they had the yellow uh, in that area right there. And then also the Jumpman on the front of the toe box is white and I believe it was red on the Taxi 12s. Now continuing up to the midsole you do have an all black midsole and that travels all the way around the shoe. And then you do see that 
the white uh, Jordan Drummond going up on the toe box right here. All right, now continuing up, and we'll just kind of work our way up the shoe. You do have these gold plates here. And that is a new addition on the shoe that was not on the Taxi 12s. I believe it was black on the Taxi 12s. And if you see here, it does say Jumpman in that gold right there. So these gold plates on either side are new for this shoe. Now continuing to this portion of the shoe right here on the outside or yeah on the outside of the toe box and the midfoot it is like a kind of like lizardy crocodile type leather just that texture that it has and that's in black right there and it's the same on the interior portion of the foot as well you have that same black I guess mudguard I believe is the proper term I can't remember the exact name for, I believe it's mudguard but that's on the interior of the shoe and it is that same material that's on the outside of the shoe as well okay now on to the white portion of the shoe now that is all leather and I will say it is a pretty nice white leather it does have a tumble to it hopefully the camera picks it up but it does have a nice tumble to leather it's a good quality leather in my opinion good quality leather now We'll go to the laces before we go to the back of the shoe. Now, this is another big difference with the shoe is these come with black laces. Now, the original Taxi Toys came with white laces. But let me show y'all something. Let me let me show y'all something. These do come with extra laces. Why Nike gave us white laces and black laces when they could have just given us white laces, I don't know. Nine times out of ten, I, I can almost guarantee that people are going to be putting in these white laces and taking out these black laces. Just because that's how the original Taxi 12s came. You had these white laces in. That's what I see people doing. Which is another reason why I think that we may not be getting these Taxi 12s anytime soon. That these Royalty 12s are going to be what we get because they gave us these white laces to go ahead and put in here. So like I said, I do think a lot of people we, we will be taking out the black laces and putting in those white laces. Um, we can stick to the tongue. The other thing is you do see the Jumpman. Let me put this back in here. You do see that Jordan Jumpman there. And it is gold. And then the other thing you see written behind laces is two. And that is in gold as well. Now on the, on the taxis in 2013, that was black and not gold. So really the biggest thing is they added gold and white to this shoe and took away the, like I said, the red, yellow, and some portions that were black. But under on here on the tongue, it's gold on these. All right, and then you do see the gold hints around the laces here, and that's on both sides of the shoe. That is the same. That was on the Taxi 12, so no difference there. Now moving to the back of the shoe. Now, I'm going to try to get this right. I may get this wrong. I'm going off memory here. But you do have 2-3 on the bottom portion of the, of the tag right there. And I believe that was red on the Taxi 12s. It is white on these. And then moving to the tag, it is gold now. And I believe it was yellow on the Taxi 12s. Let me know if that's right. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I believe it was yellow. That, and it says Jordan and then quality inspired by the greatest player ever. And so that is in gold now. And then you do have the tag here, the pull tab at the top. And you do have that white uh, background with a black Jordan Jumpman. I can't remember. I believe it was red, I want to say. I think it was red. Like I said, just let me know in the comments if that's incorrect. I can't remember off the top of my head. But it's white on these Royalty 12s. Now moving to the interior of the shoe. You do have that cardboard shoe tree with these regular cardboard shoe tree and you have basically an entire black interior of the shoe so it's all black and I believe yeah the insole is black as well with a gold Jordan Jumpman logo and it's probably gonna be very hard for y'all to see just because the shoe is tied so tight but just take my word for it I promise I'm not lying to y'all alright so that is basically the entire shoe I will show y'all the other shoe as well just so y'all can get an idea of both shoes. But no differences in the two. They do both look the same. So.
So that is the Jordan 12 Royalty. Now y'all gonna have to let me know, like I said in the beginning of the video, what y'all think about these. Is this a good supplement for the Jordan 12 Taxis? Are y'all happy that we're getting some form of the Taxi with subtle differences or did y'all just want the Taxis back completely? Me personally, because I wasn't into shoes like that in 2013 when these originally dropped or when these retroed and, and dropped again, um, I, I don't see a problem with these. Even going back and looking at old pictures of the taxis that came out in 2013, there's not too many differences, and I could probably get behind the subtle the or the small differences that are on this shoe. But that's me personally. Other people, some of y'all that may be watching the video, y'all may just be like, no, why would Nike do this? I don't want this. And that's understandable completely. Especially when they bring back a colorway that that you know that they could have just left alone and left it exactly the same. So I do understand both sides, but let me know in the comments what y'all think. Are y'all opposed to this shoe or do y'all like this shoe? Is this something you're going to add to your collection? Me personally, I'm on the fence on if I'm going to add these to my collection. I don't know. This is one of these ho the holiday releases and there are a bunch of holiday releases I'm looking forward to and wanting to get for myself. But right now I'm on the fence about these. Not because like it's an ugly colorway. I do like the shoe. I do like the colorway on these, but mainly because I'm just trying to manage what all I want to cop for the holiday. I know cool grays, I know patent bread ones, so I will have to see about these. We do I do have some time to decide. Like I said, release date is November 13th. Retail price on these is $190. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about these. Are you gonna cop? Are you gonna pass? Is it a no for you? Is it a yes? Let me know, let me know, let me know what y'all think. Like I said also if I miss something on here that you catch that was only 2013 version of the Taxi 12s, let me know in the comments, let us know for those that may be new to this shoe so they can tell the differences in the two. Or just so y'all can teach me because I'm, I'm always down to learn about new shoe stuff. As always, I do appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the video. Road to 500 subscribers, I'm like almost halfway. So if you can, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, hit the like button. So you can stay up to date when I post new content. I do have more early reviews coming. Just waiting to see on stuff, but they will drop in due time. But as always, I hope y'all stay safe and stay blessed. Hope y'all have a great rest of the week. Casper's Kicks is going ghost.